Hello, I'm Artifacts from Mars, and I thought I'd do something a little bit different. This is not Mars, this is Pluto. I looked up uh, some of the high-res photos, because I watched a video, and I'm going, you know, what the dickens? Something don't look right here. Somebody had a video up. I think it was Secure Team 10, if I remember right. It's Tyler again. Anyway, here's the first picture. I'm going to go through them sequentially. I don't know what we're looking at here, but notice these channels. That really bothers me. Ah, I want to know how on earth there can be these channels you see in the picture on Pluto. I'd really love to hear an explanation for that. It gets worse, it don't get better. And one thing I found out, I looked up uh, how much sunlight Pluto gets. And what I found out is if you take full moon and you multiply that by 450, that's about how bright Pluto gets. So just imagine full moon and you multiply that by 450. That explains why you can see the shadows. I was always taught, you know, it's cold, it's dark, there's almost no light. So you just don't know who's telling you the truth and who's lying. Now, there's a problem. Then why I even dare say this? You see that uh, thing that looks like a track? Well, if you look real sharp, I'm using a different system, by the way, so I don't have an arrow. But if you look really sharp, I don't know if the cursor is going to show up. This thing is casting a shadow. And I'm going, no way. No how, no chance. How can this be? But it's true, it is. You can just barely see it, but especially in the lower corner, you can see this. It's raised up above the level of the ground, and it's casting a shadow. Let's see if I can zoom. I'm taking it up to maximum zoom. It's clearly raised up above the ground. And that's not good. And somebody want to care to explain that to me? How this can be on Pluto? It clearly is raised up above the ground and it's clearly casting a shadow. Lower left hand corner. Uh, I'm stumped. I don't like what I'm thinking. Anyway, so we'll try to control this. Go to the next photo. This is the uh, new photo gallery. It kind of sucks to be honest with you, but that's nothing new. We don't, don't enjoy this anyway because uh, you don't see some things that are quite interesting, to say at least. This is the next photo. And you have a dark area to your left, obviously. At least I don't have to deset this photo. Now, take a look. Mid right hand side, what do you see? Uh, I'm not going to make any pronouncements here, but something don't look right. Well, screw it. I mean, you can see for yourself, something isn't right here. This is supposed to be Pluto. Pluto everything is supposed to be frozen solid permanently. As closest approach, uh... 
and its orbit is 2.74 billion miles away. I'm looking at this and I'm going, okay, somebody's BSing. That's exactly what I'm thinking, is somebody is BSing us something fierce. I'm not liking what I'm seeing. There's too many things that look like they have roofs on them, for instance, like they do on Mars. I don't know about you, I am not ha a happy camper. Okay. Well, it's being a smart aleck. Here's the next one. Not as much to see in this one as far as I can tell. But there's still things that don't look right. Look in the upper left hand corner you see striations, things sticking out. It looks almost like something's been built there. Now how can I sit here and say, well, it can't be, it's and Pluto, Pluto's frozen solid. Okay, so frozen, Pluto's frozen solid. But then what are we looking at? I just get sick and tired of NASA and our government bullshitting us about what we're seeing on this planet out in the solar system. They obviously are lysenkoized. Uh, look that term up. Lysenko is a kind of a politician scientist under Stalin. He made he kept all the scientists in line and the politics under that dictator were the science was defined by the dictator, basically, instead of being real science. Okay. We'll try to go to the next one, if I can get the cooperation of it. There we go. You have to grow negative on the negative bar until it won't grow no more, and then I guess that's where the uh, right hand arrows pop up so you can go to the next picture without going on desktop. Anyway, what do you see here? Not a lot here. Somebody did some remarkable work. I guess I saw a video. So why don't we see see if I can get it to cooperate and well it's not gonna cooperate. Apparently I have to open it I have to open it manually or something. This is it's really goofy. Oh here we go, hand. Yeah, you got the edit thing, it's like a pencil up top. So let's take a look at it's Windows 10. I'm going to take the lighting down. Instead of a switch, instead of a slider, you got this thing that turns around and around. Same basic principle. I'll bring contrast up. Once again, I'd say very suspicious. I'm not liking what I'm seeing. It's supposed to be too far away from the sun for there to be any type of life or anything on it. 
but the way they fucking drive us, I just don't know anymore. Take a look on the right side of the screen. Actually, I drag it right to the center. Look right dead center in the screen. Does that look right to you? It don't look right to me. It don't look natural. And you have other things that are clearly... No, screw it. Right in the center of the screen, you have what looks like a pipeline. And it goes through the photo. Somebody's giving us a line of utter BS. There's no other way to put it. It's bullshit. I mean, all I care about is truth. And this isn't looking good, folks. Does not look good at all. This, I would have never, ever expected something like this on Pluto. And the, well, this uh, one crater that's center now, there's looks like another pipeline. Now, what's going on? It's not supposed to work like that. It's supposed to be too cold. I don't have a clue as to you know what's going on, other than it looks like there's buildings here, and that's not supposed to be. I don't know how that's possible. All right, we'll uh, go down. And, well, no, I don't want to save it. I have to close this out and go to the next one. I'm not fully familiar with the controls yet. All right, here's another one. I wasn't able to find much in this one, to be honest. So I'm going to skip it. This one, this one, I'm going to desat. I'm going to do a desat on this. Desaturate the color. So what I'm going to do, there we have the, uh, little thing. Yep. Any questions? It doesn't look right. Once again. I'm not seeing anything that really looks like a building. But on the other hand, the whole thing looks wrong. I'm sorry. And what do you make of it? That's up to you. This one I could probably let go. We'll zoom in just a little and show you some stuff. This one I might be able to let go. Uh, except this area, again, looks all wrong. What am I supposed to think? I wouldn't expect this from a planet that was dead. And has nothing on it. A planet that's in eternal darkness and cold. Look real close. There's some rectangular openings. Okay, well, and this is one that NASA they calls a uh, frozen lake or something. They claim it's a frozen lake of methane. 
I forget what name they have for it, but it's a frozen pond. I'm frozen pond. I think that was it. Look at these structures up near it. I don't know what they are. It's just utterly weird. I never expected to see any of this with uh, photos of Pluto. More cylindrical things and some rectangular things. Some point in time, you just have to ask yourself, what the hell is going on? I mean, why can't we get a straight answer out of these people? Something don't look right here. Most definitely doesn't look right. I'll see if there's another photo. I'll study this one some more and see if we can figure out what's going on with it, but everything, I'm, I'm sorry, everything looks wrong. Yeah, this one, not quite as interesting. They got the colors in it. But the train is something else. I'm going to say, it don't look like we can really trust what we're being told. Which is, to anybody who understands what NASA stands for, never a straight answer. That's no surprise. This one don't look exactly right either. You can decide for yourself whether you think there's some kind of intelligence living there, maybe someone with far greater technology than us. But I'll tell you why these look like structures. What else are you going to call some of them? I just don't know. Well, that's about it for this time. I'm Artifacts Mars, and I am rather flummoxed by what I'm seeing. I might have expected to see a planet with an atmosphere lying on its surface. You know, three feet of, what, nitrogen ice or whatever laying on its surface. That's not what we're getting. Take it or leave it. But it looks to me like we're being bullshitted again. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.